Hello, everyone, and welcome to What's New Wednesday. How are you this morning or this afternoon, wherever you are? Good morning, Yvette from sunny Illinois and Deidre from North Carolina. Hi, Linda and Lisa and Donna. <laughs> Who else do we have? Who are you and where are you from? Chime on in and I'd love to say hello. All right. Oh, here they come. Good morning, Colleen and Tina from East Texas. Sybil from Oklahoma. Always good to see you, Sybil. Hi, Tammy from Texas. Julie from Minnesota. Rose from Minnesota as well. And Chris, nice to see you. Uh, Cindy from sunny Wisconsin and Roxana from South Dakota. Oh my goodness. Welcome to What's New Wednesday. Um, lots of fun things to talk about today and a whole variety of things to talk about. First of all, where has June gone? Am I right? Oh my goodness. I looked at the calendar and went, wow, like we are here at the end of June. Crazy. So we're going to be talking about some 4th of July themes here today. But first, I want to show you something Christmas. Yes, Christmas. Now, last week we talked about uh, the brand new Cup of Cheer line, which I'm super excited about. And I know you are too. Uh, some of you even won some fabric from that brand new line. Um, we also talked about two Christmas events that are coming up um, that uh, lots of people are getting excited about because... Uh, they are a little bit older, but they may be new to you, and maybe you didn't have a chance to do it in the past. Well, now's your chance. And um, so last week we talked about Sugar Plum Jubilee. Today I want to share with you, uh, to start out with, we're going to share a little bit about what's in a project bag when you go to a Kimberbell event. Um, if you've never been to one before, well, you're in for a real treat. And I want you to be able to see that when you attend one, the, the amount of pre-cut fabrics and embellishments and designs themselves, everything you need to finish those projects are included in a collectible Kimberbell zip bag. Um, so last week we talked about the, like I said, Sugar Plum Jubilee. Today we're going to talk just a minute about, um, here we go, let me find it here, about what is in the project bag for Winter Wonderland. Let's go ahead and take a look. <laughs> Isn't that so fun? Just gets me so excited for Christmas, all things Christmas. Um, I know a lot of you are planning on attending this event. Awesome. And if you are sitting here thinking, oh, that looks fun. That looks fun. I see all the little nitty gritty details of every little piece that comes in that kit. I want to treat myself to a two day event. Well, you can do that no matter where you live. The good news, shout it from the rooftops, everyone, uh, because I still think people think they have to 
live near a quilt shop that does this. That's not the case anymore. You can actually definitely live near a quilt shop that does this, but we know not everyone lives near a quilt shop. So you can actually attend it virtually as well. So find a quilt shop um, that is hosting um, Sugar Plum Jubilee, like we talked about last week or this week where we shared, shared a little bit about Winter Wonderland. Find them and attend their events this summer because, you know, why not have a Christmas in July and August, right? And when you attend one of those two events in July or August, you can also be entered to win a very fun prize bundle from Kimberbell. So um, check it out. Find a shop that's doing that. You get all the goodies and a whole lot more when you attend a Kimberbell event. All right. Between that event and also talking about Christmas fabric last week, well, that inspired a new quilting design. So let me go ahead and share with you uh, what is uh, brand new for quilting at Kimberbell. This is background quilting design, and I'm just going to pull it up here as an image check it out look at the ice skates ah oh, don't you love it those ice skates made me think of the ice skate stockings that you get in the vent which by the way i think you get three or four sizes of that ice skate uh stocking in the event but isn't that darling with the background quilting all the swirls it just feels wintry and just a whole lot of fun so check that out it's brand new on the website today um just go to kimberbell.com um, products, background quilting, and there you will find it. Of course, if you would like to support your local quilt shop, your favorite quilt shop online in purchasing those background quilting designs, you can do it through their affiliate link. Um, check it out at their websites. All right. Okay. So there we have the background quilting. Now let's move on to show and tell with Kimber Bell. Are you ready? Let's do it. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about what you guys have been, been making in the quilting world. Okay, we have a lot of uh, 4th of July summer type things happening over on the Kimberbellas and Fellas page. But first, I wanted to share with you a wow that totally caught my attention. I know it caught a lot of your you out there, your attention, because this was on based on spring showers. But this gal right here mixed it up a little bit. Natasha, she says, oh my goodness, I finished them. I started these quilts with my local quilt shop in March and had hoped to complete them in April. It was her second Kimberbell project. Um, she purchased a Kim Kimberbell beginner box in order to learn how to use her embroidery machine. And then from there on out, she made the quilt for her mother-in-law and a little bit more subdued one for herself. And now she's off to two scoops. She gives a shout out to her quilt shop out there in Texas. I love all of this, but take a look. Oh my goodness. Okay, so she, obviously, as you see in the back, she did it in the colorway that we had showed it. But look, look at the colorway in the more muted uh, colors of the, like the brown tones, a little bit more mauve, a little bit more sage green. And it just completely changes up the whole look of this quilt. It possibly coordinates, I guess, more with her home decor and her, you know, love of coloring. And it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous in every way. Thank you for sharing this. Look at those boats. Oh my goodness. The kind of a more pinky mauvey boot there, the creams, the the just earth tones. Isn't it gorgeous? I knew you guys would be inspired by that one. All right, let's see what else is going on. Ooh, here's one that's kind of fun. My friend Dee in New Hampshire, she says, I'm like a child with a new toy. I need to play with it as soon as I get it. That's probably why I have so many unfinished projects. Yeah, we're all right there with you, Dee. She says um, she got the new fabric. And this is one of the blocks from the panel. So last week, I talked about the new um, quilting panel from Kimberbell. This is part of the Cup of Cheer fabric line. So find your shop who is selling this panel because there's so many fun things you can do with it. Whoop. 
And um, I'm certain this panel is going to sell out. <laughs> So please find a shop that has it. Um, and I love that this, she took one of the blocks from the panel. This is not the, this is not the embroidery version of the, um, of the wreath that comes on the quilt. This is the panel. Isn't that cool? And then she added um, a, a C in there um, to monogram it. Just love it so much. And then she used the Kimberbell background quilting files for um, Cup of Cheer, which is also now available and at an introductory price to make it into this quilted pillow. So cute. So beautiful in every way, Dee. Thank you for sharing that. All right. Uh, let's see. What else? Ooh, here's a fun one for summer. Carol says she finally used her, finally finished her topper using clear blue tiles to quilt it. She actually, this one comes from um, red, white, and bloom. Okay. Red, white, and bloom. And she decided to just leave off the extra dimensional flowers in the, in the little watering cans. I love that. Very simplified look. She quilted it with clear blue tiles. And isn't that gorgeous? Oh. You even use the red, white, and bloom fabric from Kimberbell. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you for sharing that. Speaking of 4th of July, Carol said this is her version. She actually took pieces from a lot of different Kimberbell projects. She said the fireflies, see that in the jar there? Those were from Red, White, and Bloom. The geese blocks were from Broomhilda's Bakery. The glass of lemonade um, was from an a uh, Kimberbell Club project, yep. And it was her first time doing block by block quilting. Yay, I love that. She loved how it turned out. Carol, I do too. And don't you love the fabric she used around the border? It looks real patchworky. Absolutely love it, Carol. Thank you for sharing. Um, here's another one from my friend Lynn. She says the pillow's completed, two more to go. But she, what I love is that she actually took the house. Um, now, this is a house from one of our um, old dealer exclusives projects, but we also have a lot of very, very similar houses um, in the in the product called Make Yourself at Home, as well as some other products like um candy cane lane and such uh we've got lots of houses at kimberbell so find a house that would work there i love how she added the lettering of home of the free because of the brave and she just made it her own very fun lynn thank you for sharing that um let's see a couple more now i know you're thinking halloween what <laughs> I know it's too early, but it's never too early to get started on these projects. I love that Sarah, uh, she says that she's enjoying these and she's trying to get them done before Cup of Cheer arrives. I don't blame you, Sarah. But what I wanted to share with you um, with this one is, of course, that it's not too early to get started on anything, you know, coming out this fall or and winter. But these are some of my favorite blocks. <laughs> I've ever put together. So um, this is, of course, from Candy Corn Quilt Shop, but I love the tombstones. Here lies M.T. Bobbins. I, I owe that one to my husband, Ryan. The Kimber fella, he came up with that one. <laughs> um, and here lies All My Scraps. I owe that one to my daughter. She also helped me with that one. All My Scraps all my scraps. And then another favorite, here lies an unfinished quilt. May it rest in pieces. May it rest in pieces. Yeah, we've all got them, don't we? So Sarah, way to go. Way to get started on that Halloween quilt. Now, these next few images I'm going to share with you actually inspired me with a project that I'm going to share with you today. So Ray Dean, she says, summertime s'mores using the Kimberbell denim blank, jumbo rickrack, and pioneer woman fabric. Um, she thanked Patricia out there for sharing this idea. So thank you, Patricia, for sharing that. But look how cute this is. Okay, let me give you a more up close image here. This is actually um, from one of our... Um, summer events yeah one of our summer events always s'more fun together i love that so now she's she's personalized it on this denim tote from kimberbell she lined it with pockets as you can see there she put the kimberbell roasting sticks which i'm going to show you here in a minute she put the roasting sticks that we have um on there in the bag isn't that the cutest gift 
Oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much for sharing that idea. And then this idea came from Lori. And again, I was inspired with what I'm going to share with you today based on those two, last two projects. But Lori says, my granddaughter was invited to a week-long 4th of July camp and asked me to do a thank you gift, red, white, and barbecue to the rescue. That, so that's another Kimberbell event that you can take online or in person at a store. Um, she filled the bag with an apron, a mitt, three towels, plus stuff for s'mores and red, white, and blue glow necklaces. How cute. She says, I might have overdone it by a ton. Oh, no, Lori. No, 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 no. You can always overdo it, right? Because overdoing it makes it that much more fun. And I think it's perfect in every way. Thank you, Lori, for sharing that. So those two, those last two uh, things I showed you really got me thinking about containers, right? Um, what to hold things in, especially at that are giftable or for decorating. And so, of course, with, you know, the 4th of July coming up and such, I thought about these um, loves me not totes. You guys seen these on the vault? Isn't that fun? So this is called the loves me not tote. If you've done the loves me not tote from Kimberbell, chime in and let us know what you think. Isn't it fun? Um, we used our flexi foam on the inside of it. We, um, it just takes three fat quarters is all. And the other thing that I'm excited to, to share with you is, do you recognize that background quilting? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. I use the Kimberbell background quilting to actually quilt the basket first before I sewed it together. And then you have the love. This is why it's called loves me not, not get it. Loves me not basket. And it's just perfect for hanging or holding things in. Now this one, I just did with stripes quilting and look how fun. So that is something that you can find on the vault. Let me show you where, um, let's see. Okay. So if you go over to Kimberbell, share. All right, here we are. So I'm over here at products. If you go to the vault, there's a couple things I want to share with you actually from here. So um, one of them is right here, and I'm going to talk about that here in just a minute. It's brand new, just got added today. But if I go, boy, it's kind of been on here for a while. So I'm going to say show 48 products, and I think it's on the second page. So it's one of the older ones that we've had on here. Um, let me scroll down. These are all items that are older Kimberbell products. They may be new to you, um, but here we go. Okay, here we go. It's the Loves Me Not basket. Let's click on that. Here is where you will find it. So if you are interested in doing something that literally takes three fat quarters, <laughs> and some flexi foam and just your imagination right and figuring out like what do you want to place inside those baskets look how cute it is for decorating like we put some cups and plates and napkins you could put some silverware in it you could put some flowers in it there's just all sorts of fun ideas um that you can do with that and the loves me not basket boy that's good for any kind of three fabrics i've seen people do this basket in fabrics like for a baby shower gift and maybe they insert some diapers in there and then it's a, a decorative item for a room um, i've seen people doing it in like a sewing theme fabric and then they put some of their notions and tools in there lots of different ways to use the loves me not basket but what i especially love of course today is the whole idea that for 4th of July, I'm going to have these baskets ready to go on my table with all sorts of fun stuff in them. Okay. Now, the other thing I was going to show you, let's see. So I'm going to go back here to the very first page of the vault because what just got added today 
was something that it has been around since I think the date on it is 2016, maybe. So it's an oldie, but a goodie, but it's a goodie. All right. So it's called Pinwheel Parade. This is another one that would be so fun to decorate your home with for 4th of July. I mean, just imagine putting those. Now, that's like a very summery theme. Let's look at this one. Oh, isn't that fun? But look how cute, like kind of a more, I don't know, patriotic feel to it. You could put it in planters. You could put it in Coke bottles. Um, you could put it in vases. So many fun ideas. There's a couple different pinwheels um, downloads on here. This is the brand new one. It's called, like I said, Pinwheel Parade. And this one has a more uh, quilted look to it. So as you can see there, you've got some quilting lines and then you've got a decorative edge around it and you're using a couple of pieces of felt. This one also, if you wanted to, you could make it spin. There are some directions in there on how to make it spin or you can just keep it nice and simple and just uh, hot glue it. That would work too. But that's kind of a fun one too. An oldie but a goodie. All right. And when I say oldie but goodie, I'm also talking a little more, here we go, retro instructions, what we call retro instructions, because we've certainly uh, changed up the way we do instructions in the past, you know, six years. Um, but it still works. It still works. And it's still very detailed, very step by step. I could see doing those pinwheels, putting them in the baskets, bringing them to, you know, your 4th of July celebration or decorating your home with them. Uh, lots of fun stuff. So, um, let me go ahead, come back over here and I'm going to show you what they look like in person. All right. So I've got some. These were so fun to make. They're so easy and I will say highly addictive. So <laughs> if you're if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I, I don't need another addiction or if you're going, oh, that sounds fun. Let's go for it, right? Um, here you go. Because there's so many different fabrics you can choose, right? So here's the deal. I want one of you, two of you actually, to win this to win this or this, or I'm telling you, I made so many of these between last year and this year, because they're so much fun. I'm going to give you this, the actual one that's been made, okay? You gotta get it soon, right? To decorate for summer. But not only am I gonna give you one of these or someone's gonna win, but I'm also gonna add a few fun surprises because I can't just give you a basket, right? I gotta give you a basket full of fun. <laughs> so how would you like to win the basket, one of these? And then I've got some Kimberbell S'mores roasting sticks. These are available through quilt shops. I highly suggest that this is something that you add to your summer parties because look how cute is this? So. This says S'more Fun with Kimberbell. It's, it's in the wood there. S'more Fun. <laughs> Let's see if I can get that light a little bit better. Yeah. Okay, do you see that? It's ingrained in the wood. So S'more Fun. Oh, there we go, maybe. S'more Fun, <laughs> there we go, with Kimberbell. But they're telescoping ones. So you can roast hot dogs, you can roast marshmallows, you can roast peeps. I haven't tried it yet, but I saw a friend do it and it actually kind of looked decent. So if you got those peeps, Starburst, whatever you want to roast on there, there's four in a package. Like I said, quilt shops um, are selling these and I just think it's a fun little gift. So um, this was part of, um, we made these s'mores bags. Um, as one of our part of one of our summer events. And we thought it'd be fun to sell some more roasting sticks because why not? So you're gonna get this and I'm gonna put this in there. But what else am I gonna put in there? Well, you gotta have some glitter, right? So I'm gonna throw in some red, white, and blue. Here we go, some glitter rolls. Let's see how much else we can pack in here. Um, you know what, let's throw in some red, white, red and white wool 
pom-pom balls. Okay, let me see how much I can get in here. All right. So we've got a few things. We'll stack them up this way so we can fit in more. What else do I have? I've got some felt, embroidery felt, because if you want to make those pinwheels, you're going to want some embroidery felt to go with it. Okay, let's put in, oh, here we go. Okay, what I'm going to do, how's this? I'm going to surprise you. I'm going to add in some red, white, and blue fabrics. By the way, if you're from Canada, I'll make it all red and white. How's that? for my Canadian friends. Okay. So I'm going to just stuff it full of Kimberbelt goodness, right? We're going to have, we're going to celebrate. We're going to put, you're going to get the actual basket and then I'm going to stuff it full. Believe me, it'll be stuffed full of glitter and embellishments and roasting sticks and fabric and all sorts of fun stuff because I want two of you to win. So how do you win? Well, it's easy. All you have to do is make a comment here on our Facebook page and or our YouTube channel. So you've got two places to win. And just say, what would you fill your loves me not basket with? Tell me some ideas because I'm thinking like, ooh, you could do, oh my goodness, you could do like flowers. Hmm. Example one here exhibit A, maybe I should say, is that I just found these fake flowers because trust me, I can uh, make a quilt, no big deal. Growing flowers, that's a whole nother story, <laughs> right? So I buy fake ones, but look how cute the fake ones would be in this basket. Ooh, I like it, right? So maybe some flowers. Um, maybe it's sitting on your table with some paper plates and napkins and silverware and such. Um, and Jeff is saying fat quarters. Um, let's see. Your things go by so fast here. Um, here we go. Oh, Lenny says she would put her threads in it for a cup of cheer. That's, that's actually a really good idea. Um, Cheryl says napkins and plastic silverware with flowers. I like that. Um, let's see. Danielle says it would be a s'mores basket with everything you need right to the fire pit, right next to the fire pit. The chocolate, the graham crackers, the marshmallows. I love it. Ooh, someone else it just flew by, but someone said they would fill it with fruit. Another person said they would fill it with chips. Um... Baking supplies. Oh my goodness, these just, just fly through. Okay, so lots of ideas. Looks like some people are, are saying like, oh, this would make a great like wedding shower gift to put some things in, um, fill it with treats. Someone mentioned, just flew by, someone mentioned they would do it, make the loves me not basket in Halloween fabrics and put their Halloween candy in it. I'm telling you, this is addictive. So you're going, don't say I didn't warn you <laughs> because this is just 4th of July fabric, but I, these baskets would be so cute for any holiday filled with goodies for that particular holiday, right? Three fat quarters is all and some flexi foam. All right. Um, oh, personal hygiene items. They would put it in their bathroom and fill it with soaps. Yeah, I love it. Lotions. Love it. Mother's Day gifts, right? Birthday gifts. So many fun things. All right. So that's all you have to do. Comment here on Facebook right below this video or on YouTube. Now, let's just like chat for just 30 seconds about giveaways and the cr some crazy things that happen when um, scammers out there um, say that you want a giveaway. I just want to make sure you you hear it from me that if you've won a Kimberbell giveaway, we promise we will never ask for a credit card number. We will never ask for any kind of money because you've won something. Um, and we will just make sure that it's legit and comes from us. Okay. So in order to, to prevent that, just know that we will always contact you and uh, let you know that you won. You won't be contacted like on YouTube or Facebook. We will let you know. And then we will also make a separate post on Kimberbell um, Facebook page that tells you 
who the winners are. Okay, so I just want to make sure everyone knows that because we we don't want you to, you know, get scammed um, and we want to keep it fun. So just know that's that's what will happen um, and it will all be legit. But never use your credit card. Never give them any private information um, that isn't necessary for winning a giveaway. All right. So um, lots of ideas coming through. Oh, my gosh. Filling it with picnic supplies, a gift bag for my grandkids. Uh, ooh, Kathy. Oh, where did you go, Kathy? Here we go. Baby onesies, a Kimber Bear, a burp cloth, a rattle, a diapers, and make a darling baby shower gift. Yes, it would, Kathy. I love that idea. And, you know, how about some bath salts for the new mama, too, right? <laughs> All right. Now, one other thing before we leave, keep those comments coming in because someone, two people are going to win either on Facebook or YouTube. So check it out. And when you're at YouTube, you know what I'm going to say, like it and subscribe while you're there um, because that that helps build the channel and helps us get the, our messaging out to you uh, without you ever having to miss it. So there you go. One more thing to talk about today. And then we'll end for What's New Wednesday. Boy, that went by fast. But that is the brand new digital dealer exclusives for July. Now, shops all over the world who are participating in Kimberbell's digital dealer exclusives can make sure you get these designs by going through them um, for July. Okay? And it's not too late. Like, if you haven't signed up for digital dealer exclusives yet, it's not too late. I promise you. In fact, you can even get designs from January, February, March, April, May, June, and now July. But let me show you the four. Yes, the four designs coming out as part of July's digital dealer exclusives. And when you go through a quilt shop that's participating in this, they will actually get you all set up with Kimberbell. They oftentimes will teach classes. They'll make it part of their club. Many, many, many of them make kits for these things. Please support your favorite quilt shop by participating in it through them. But look at these bags. <laughs> These are just two of the four because we had these as bonus designs uh, for the month of July, extra designs that um, are available for you. OK, so here is the bag of coal. Santa approved. Try again next year. <laughs> I love it. And it's a I mean, it's it's a dimensional three dimensional bag. But guess what? You never take this to the sewing machine. Can you believe that these bags are fully lined? There's no raw edges or stabilizer showing. And it's all done in one hooping. Yes, my friends, it's true. It's because of some amazing digitizers at Kimberbell that made that possible. Okay, so this is the bag of coal. Look how cute that is. And this is Santa Mail. Oh my gosh. North Pole Mail Service. You can do this in a five by seven hoop too. Isn't that cool? All right. So those are the two cinch bags. But wait, there's more. Because, you know, we did say Christmas in July, right? Find a shop doing these and participate with them. But there's also two more that come in July. And where did my samples go? Da, 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 da. Okay, I just have them here. There they are. Okay. This is called, there are two more types of zipper pouches, but so fun. Look at this. This is the what we call give a dog a bone. <laughs> Look at that little zipper bag. You could put dog treats in there. Again, fully lined, folks. No raw edges or stabilizer showing. Um, and look at the quilting on that. How cute, right? So you could like attach this to like the dog's leash or a keychain or something so that when you take your dog on a walk, you could put their little doo-doo bags in there. You could put treats in there. It could be for your children who want to have little treats and carry this around. Um, yeah. So this is Give a Dog a Bone. This is called 
give a cat a fish. <laughs> Look at that quilting. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? So this could be fun for all sorts of little treats. Maybe some goldfish crackers, right? Um, for, you know, whatever. So think about how you would use those. Two more designs available exclusively through Digital Dealer Exclusives. So much fun. So now you've got four designs that are possible to receive. You can purchase four of these this month in July. And they are only available through quilt shops that are doing it. So find your favorite quilt shop out there. Find out, are you doing digital dealer exclusives? And if they're not, tell them it's not too late to participate either. Just have them give us a call and we can get them set up so that they can also provide that to you. Super fun, right? All right. Um, okay, anything else? I think we covered it all, guys. That was quick. Are there any questions before I go? Let's see what you're saying. Sharon says, pet lovers in my family, lots of bags to make. Yeah, I, I think there's quite a few of you pet lovers out there. And I'm sure you can think of all sorts of fun ideas of what to put in those little zipper bags. Too fun, right? Um, oh, this is fun. Sue says, give a dog a bone, cat a fish. Would be great to put gift cards in for people who have a dog or a cat. I love that idea, Sue. Thank you for sharing that. Um, Tia says, my granddaughter just graduated from college and I would fill it with things for her first job. She just landed the bat. I, I I'm assuming Tina, <laughs> we're talking this, right? Let's me not. I love that idea, Tina. And she would absolutely love it too, because not only will she have things that, you know, are useful, but she'll also have a really cute bag to decorate her home or apartment or whatever. And that's awesome. All right. Um, let's see. Yeah. Uh, Joelle just says it's going to, it would be a fun little coin purse. Absolutely. For sure. Okay. Uh, Melody says great items for the dealer exclusives. Thank you, Melody. Yeah. We've worked really, our team, mm, love them. We, we've worked really hard to create really fun, um, unique techniques oftentimes um, so that you can learn your embroidery machine. So you can learn what is possible with this wonderful world of machine embroidery, right? And uh, next year we will also have additional dealer exclusives that uh, you'll be able to get and all oh, the projects. So, so, so cute. All right. Um, let's see. Don't forget, you can... Do this with a shop online. That's why we call it digital. So Curtis, um, thank you for answering someone's question. She said that you could, you could ask your local digital dealer. Yeah. So whether it's a local quilt shop that's providing digital dealer exclusives, or if you don't have a quilt shop near you or one that is participating in digital dealer exclusives, um, you can do it online as well. It's digital, so it's awesome. And like I said, people are making them in clubs, classes. Um, they're doing uh, demos with them, and they're providing kits. And they are a great go-to resource for you for all things machine embroidery. It's awesome. Okay, I love this. <laughs> Melissa says, my sister just bought her first embroidery machine after receiving cute gifts from me made with Kimberbell. I said, welcome to my addiction. Amen, Melissa, and thank you for sharing those things that you created for your sister. You obviously inspired her, and that is awesome to hear. That's so super cool. All right, here's another idea for the basket. Diane says, I would fill the basket with items for a shower or gift with the basket and contents theme for the event. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. All right, guys, thank you for joining me today. It's always fun to be with you. Every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Daylight Time is when you can find out what's new in Kimberbell land. <laughs> Kimberbell land? Kimberbell world? Kimberbell. And um, it's fun to share what you're making too because you inspire all of us. Again, thanks for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.